Okay, this is the promised study session for the uh, Physics 2900 for the Advanced Dynamics Homeworks 6, and I'll do Homework 7 shortly after this. So uh, one of the things that you'll have to do for this homework set is um, div, grad, and curl in curve linear coordinates. So I'm going to give you an example of how to do gradient, and maybe even an example of curl, in... Uh, cylindrical and spherical coordinates okay so look over here this is your this is page three of your coordinate system sheet and just to note to start with you have to notice that there's all these different things this stuff here goes with cartesian this stuff here goes with cylindrical and this stuff here goes with spherical and uh let's let's look down here at let me scroll this down Let's look down here at curl of a vector and let's do it in spherical coordinates, okay? So let me start by making up a vector in spherical coordinates. So let's make up a vector, we'll call it vector A and it is something with an R in it, we'll put a gamma in front of R and a, um, a beta in front of a um, theta and, uh, I don't know, a delta in front of a phi. Uh, oh, and it's got to be r hat plus beta theta, uh, theta hat plus delta phi squared in the phi hat direction. Now they're usually not this simple. I just, I'm just showing you how to use this thing on your sheet. And the question is, what's the curl of A? Which means, of course, del cross A. So following your, this, this thing over here, in order to find the curl of A, step one is divide one by H1, H2, and H3. And you say, well, what's H1, H2, and H3? Well, that goes, depends on which coordinate system you're using. For spherical, this is what it is. H1 is one, H2 is R, and H3 is R sine theta. So you just plug those in down there. So um, the curl of A is gonna be one over one times R times R sine theta. Okay, that's step one. The next thing is, it gives you this determinant here. And in this determinant, you have to put your three unit vectors, which are given as r hat, theta hat, and phi hat. And then d by du, and d by du, and d by the other u, and your u's are given up here as r, theta, and phi. So I'll write those two lines in now. So this is r hat here, theta hat here, and phi hat here. And uh, I need d by d r, and d by d theta, and d by d phi there okay and now the next step here it says plug in the three parts of your vector with h1 h2 and h3 so you got to notice there's two parts of this there's the, the first part of your vector and the first part of h whatever that is so um and you say well what if there's more than three parts we live in a 3d world there's only three parts. Okay, so here we go. Uh, <clears throat> let's write this out. So H1 is just one, and then the first part of A is gamma R. And then this one is gonna be uh, R times beta theta. And then the next one is H3, which is R sine theta times delta phi squared. And then we have to take determinant of that. Okay, so when we work this out, what we're gonna do here is, is, is just determinant like you've always been doing since you were in kindergarten, because I know you did determinant in kindergarten, right? So you're gonna have to cover this up and do this times this minus this times this. Okay, so it's gonna be d by d theta of r sine theta times delta 
phi squared minus this times this. So it's going to be d by d phi of r beta theta. All that times r hat. That's your first piece. And now you got to do minus. Remember that's the most forgotten minus sign in all of cross product dumb. And so now we're going to cover up the middle row and we're going to do this times this minus this times this. Okay? So I'll put the big bracket there. So it's going to be this times this. So it's going to be d by dr of r sine theta delta phi squared minus this times this d by d phi of gamma r and that is times theta hat plus and now we'll do the last piece we're going to cover up this one over here and do this times this minus this times this so it's going to be d by dr of r beta theta minus d by d phi I'm sorry, that's a theta, d by d theta of gamma r. And that is in the phi hat direction. Okay, so now uh, there's several pieces in here that just go away. Let's see, this first one is going to give us uh, Everything's a constant. This is derivative with respect to theta, so that only acts on the sine theta, so everything else stays put. So we're going to have an r delta phi squared times a cosine. Ooh, there's a wasp in my workshop. Yeah. Times a cosine of theta. And then this is derivative with respect to phi, so that goes away, and so we've just have an r hat here minus now all of this now this, this is derivative with respect to r so everything here is a constant except for that r which just becomes a one and so this becomes sine theta times delta phi, oops, phi squared and this next piece is a zero so I have my theta hat there and now this last one here d by dr, and with respect to that, gives me a b beta theta, so be plus beta theta, and then that piece gives me a zero, and that's in the phi hat direction, and there you go. That's how you do curl of A in spherical coordinates. And this is a totally made up problem, but I'm just showing you how to do it so you can use your coordinate system sheet effectively. Okay? That's a good place to stop.